Hey guys, Kyle from Berkshire Worms. We're just having a look at a soil sample tonight. So we have this camera mount for a smartphone so you don't have to look through the lenses all the time. This lets us capture pictures of things we don't recognize, um, shoot videos, and take pictures for customers. Um, it's a lot easier on your eyes too while you're scanning around. I like to scan the slide on the um, 40 objective and then if I see something cool I'll go to the 100. So we have a ciliate moving around a piece of our biochar. See it swimming around, scooping things up. You don't want to see an overabundance of protozoa or ciliates that move around real fast like that. You see a lot of them, it's likely your soil has gone anaerobic, but we want to see a few of them here or there. They're uh, an important part of the food soil web. They eat uh, bacteria, and then when they poop out that bacteria, those minerals and organic matter that the bacteria were breaking down becomes available to plants. And it's fun to watch. <laughs> oh, I just spit something out. <laughs> I could watch that all day. Some of the other things we're looking for are, you know, good mineral content. So jagged, kind of glass looking, sandy looking structures are a lot of times minerals and we want to find that in the soil. All these little black chunks are biochar. That's going to attract fungi over time. You can see actually here's some growing off. That's a new piece growing off the biochar right there. So it's already doing its job. What I'm liking that I see is just lots of diversity. We're seeing humic acids, little bits of fungi. The fungi will move in over time because the biochar is present. But all these little chunks and bits and jagged things are good minerals. With some bacteria moving around. Lots of diverse organic matter. And I'll systematically move my way up and down, left to right. It's just an air bubble there. Okay. Looks like some new fungi. Yeah, here's some new fungi. You see the segments. It's a little bit light in color, but it looks like it's probably just a new strand. More minerals. Air bubble. These brown structures are humic acids. You can see all the different items attached to the outside, so they'll bind to just about everything. They have a really long, complex chain structure uh, at the molecular level, so things like to bind to it. And this will help your soil aggregate, so it'll help it stick together without being like clay. It'll help make it more like a cake that sticks together. So we always want to see, see lots of humic acids, which we do. Lots of mineral particles, bacteria. There's some bacteria moving around, probably a few clay particles. Give me a dead nematode. Yeah, there's a little mouth on it. 
looks like a dead nematode. Well, nematodes are also a part of the food soil web. So we just, we want lots of diversity. There's one type of bad nematode that'll feed on the roots, but they have a very distinguished um, like needle, retractable needle that you can see. And that's not one of them. So everything else is usually a beneficial nematode. Eat bacteria and pathogens and make what's in the bacteria available to plants. So nematodes are very important for your soil health. chunk of biochar. Already you can see the stuff binding to it. It's so cool about biochar. That'll be microbes, nutrients, water that won't leave your soil. It'll just stay bound to that biochar, that piece of carbon until it's needed. Hard to see under this objective, but if you look at the border and see all those new bits of bacteria and molecules that are binding to it. That's a big chunk of mineral that's bound to it. You just see the life surrounding the biochar. because it's so porous. You can see how jagged the, the edge, the very edge of that is. Just little perfect houses for beneficial biology, nutrients, water. It's a cool addition to the soil. Some sort of multi-celled organism here. Just a chain of cocci. No, it's a little big for that. I don't know what that is. Just snap a picture. Find out what that is later. Cool. What's a little bacteria? Not seeing too many rod shaped bacteria, which is good. I, I think rod shaped. So that's more like a humic acid where it's, you see the, the sort of crystally edges, it's a little bit more amber in color. Like these here, a little bit more jagged. Collection of minerals, organic matter, bacteria. Lots of little pieces of fungal hypha, new fungi. Bacteria moving around. Mostly cockeye shapes, so just a little round bacteria. You want, you know, once again, diversity. If there's a overabundance of rod bacteria, that can be a sign of anaerobic conditions. Nice humic acid there, humic acids. More humic acids. 
We got some biochar with humic acids binding to it. You see all the different colored specks and biology around that. It's cool. Just lots of life. Some sort of struggle going on. I can't quite focus in on it. Big throated oil there. What was the struggle? I don't know. It's like <laughs> something. Trying to move some food. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Paper wood. Paper of Zill swimming around there. Cool. <laughs> 